The sprint review is a working session for the stakeholders, users, and customers to collaborate with the Scrum team, which includes the developers, product owner, and Scrum master, and inspect the progress made toward the product goal based on the latest product increment. The sprint review is about getting feedback from the stakeholders and users on the product increment and then adapting the product backlog accordingly. In the sprint review, the team shares with the stakeholders the sprint goal and the product backlog items the team worked on to deliver on the sprint goal and produce the product increment. The team might demo the product increment or have the stakeholders use it to verify that what they built meets their expectations, that they are on the right track, and that the increment is useful and valuable. The team verifies that the next items in the product backlog are still the most important items to work on, or whether they should pivot and work on something else instead. Based on this feedback, the product owner adjusts and adapts the product backlog accordingly to meet any new opportunities or requirements identified, and therefore ensuring that the Scrum team is always working on the most valuable items. The sprint review happens towards the end of the sprint, involves the entire Scrum team collaborating with the stakeholders and users, and is time-boxed to four hours for a four-week sprint, or two hours for a two-week sprint, and so forth. And that's the sprint review, a time-boxed event that occurs towards the end of the sprint for the Scrum team to collaborate with the stakeholders and inspect the product increment and the progress being made towards the product goal and to adapt the product backlog accordingly. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe.